That's right, traders. We're putting triangles on our screen now. Stay tuned. We are not putting triangles on our screen. That would be ridiculous. Welcome, traders, to the Indicator Profile series for this Thursday. We had to go a day later because, as you guys might already know, Stonehill Forex is a bit of a mess right now. We're not quite sure what's going on with it, but we do know that the developers said we're about 83% of the way where we need to be. So we might not have a corresponding blog for you today. There's, that's the reason why I waited an extra day to see if we'd be there yet, but we're just not. But fear not, as soon as everything is up and operational fully, we will have the blog for this episode and everything will be back on schedule. But for now, let's go ahead and move forward with the triangle moving average. Before we do that, if you're new, enjoy the video. This is the number one indicator channel in all of YouTube. Always was, will always be. But it's not going to make a lot of sense to you because you need to start at the beginning here. Go to nonsenseforex.com, read the first page, watch the first video, and get started. And get caught up. It's worth it. For those who are caught up, let's go ahead and look at the specs for the triangle moving average. The year is going to be 2013. I've known about this one for a while, and it just doesn't get talked about a lot. I've been kind of waiting for somebody to talk about it, and I just don't see much out there. So I'm excited to bring this one to you. It's going to be a baseline, and it's just going to be a standard run-of-the-mill baseline, as you'll soon see. And for exits, I don't recommend using a baseline as your exit indicator. I never have. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Super exciting. Now... Looking at this at first glance, it's okay. First of all, if you don't know, every time price crosses and closes above the baseline, that's going to be your signal to go long. And conversely, when it does the opposite, that's your signal to go short. This was obviously a loss. Seen a few losses here. This cluster here is no good, but your algorithm would have almost certainly gotten you out of that. Now, as far as things like this, I don't know, did that go below? It's hard to tell over here, too. At first glance, this looks just okay. But remember, we also haven't tweaked the settings yet, and we will do that. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Before we do that, understand that all that matters is how this does in your system. Everybody's baseline is different. It has different settings. And the reason why that is, is because certain baselines and certain settings work well with certain systems. So take all of these results, good and bad, with a grain of salt. Now, if you want to know how to test this yourself, we have many links for you down below. The first one is a link to my automation blog that has an embedded video showing you how to test this yourself on the MT4 Strategy Tester. We will have the link to the indicator blog once it's up. Again, a down week for the site, but as soon as it's back up, you will see that. Now, what you can do after this is Dan did make the YouTube video. YouTube's working fine. So after this, you can go watch his Triangle Moving Average video on his channel if you would like more information. And if you'd like to submit an indicator for review on this series, we have an email for you to send it to. Do not mention anything in the comments section. Go here instead. And then, uh, I'm not sure if this, I should have looked, see if this is in the indicator library yet or not, but it will be soon. Keep checking in every day or so and see if the link and or the blog is ready to go. Hopefully it won't be long. But that being said, let's go ahead and get into the results for the triangle moving average, starting with the Euro USD. Now for a baseline, I like this a lot. 8%, pretty strong. At first glance, like we were looking at, not good as I suspected, but got a lot better after the tweaks. Good win-loss ratio. I would say this is pretty darn strong. Uh, even stronger with gold, though. First off, ignore this blue dot right here. I'm not sure why it's there. Um, but for a baseline in the mid-20s like that, that is a pretty good place to start. Usually, I don't think we get super bombastic results with baselines here. We may have a couple times. But something like this, to me, is on gold is very, very strong. I think the strongest of the bunch is actually the S&P. Um, as we know, the benchmark for the S&P is right around 11%. You're getting that with a baseline alone and even a bit higher on the four hour. Good, good stuff here. Rounding off with Bitcoin. Similar to my feelings on gold. Not over the top crazy, but pretty darn good. I mean, if you have confirmation indicators that are already giving you more than this to add a baseline in to eliminate those losses that does something like this, I think that's pretty darn good. I think this indicator as a baseline is pretty darn good, and I hope you feel the same way. Even if you don't, we're going to have a lot more. 
So subscribe, hit the bell. Indicator Profile Series every Wednesday, sometimes Thursday, but usually Wednesday. Trading Psychology Podcast every other Monday. Blog Thursday sometimes. I'm not sure if I'm going to put out a blog today, but check the site. I might. Or check Twitter. I always let people know there. And absolutely, the 10 Minute Contrarian Investment Podcast every Saturday. It's all things finance. It's everything you need. You don't need anything else. Subscribe, hit the bell, give us a like, and go get it.